This morning, I woke up at about half past ten and opened up my blinds to let the light in. In preparation for what I knew was going to be an uneventful day, I made sure to watch some YouTube videos, check my email, and eat something. Then I went outside to throw some trash in the dumpster. When I returned to my dorm room, I found that a pigeon had landed on my windowsill. I named him Gus. After bothering him, I put on my exercise clothes and began my journey across campus to the gym. I don't know why, but things always seem clearer on the days when nothing is going on and I can linger out in the beautiful weather. Perhaps it is my brain catching up and processing recent events. As I walked, I felt the memories stirring. I remembered something that my mom had told me a while ago. I recall we were in a car and she had asked me about my peers. I responded that they all seemed nice, but I was unsure of who would stick around and finish college. The conversation slid elsewhere, and I don't remember what was brought up, but suddenly my mother said that I needed to learn that there are some things in life that lasted. I was confused, so she tried to explain. She said that I felt that some of my classmates wouldn't remain near me at school. She also pointed out that I had been in college living on campus for months and had yet to find a friend. You need to learn that some things, some feelings and friendships can and will last, she said. I, did, I didn't know why I was remembering that conversation. I had pressed it to the back of my mind at the time because I was unsure of what she was saying. Finally, I got to the gym and exercised for around an hour. Then I made my way back to my dorm. On the way back, I found myself wondering about what my mother had told me. I think I understand what she was saying now, after stewing over it. I've always moved around a whole lot, and as a defense mechanism, I began to hold people at arm's length. Keeping people at a distance came in handy multiple times. Not only when I was leaving, or a friend was leaving me, but when I was used and then discarded by somebody who I considered to be my friend. I guess my mom thought that I would grow out of these tendencies once I lived in college for a while, but no such luck. I still can't bring myself to trust any human. It's both a blessing and a curse. I think, as I drink a sugary beverage that is undoing all of the good my workout did. No one can hurt me anymore. But sometimes, I like a friend, just a friend. But I know that I won't have that kind of a friend until I learn to believe that there are some things in life that last. Maybe not forever, but more than a scant year or two. When I get back to my dorm, I shower, then do my laundry more mundane tasks to help me come to a conclusion. But I realize that there really isn't one. This will be an ongoing process for me. I have to slowly take down my walls and risk letting people in. And as the day ends, I am looking outside my window again, thinking about how hard it will be. And I can't help but to be terrified, though I'm sure it will be worth it in the end. Elizabeth, we'll see you tomorrow. DFTBA.